So, yun kailan tayo yung barak magsimula. Game! Good day everyone! Welcome to our vlog! My name is Mary Jane Ko. And I am Princess Sarah Pulo. And we are here to talk about the political thoughts of Marcelo H. Del Pilar and his reforms during the Spanish regime. to us today that he was the most impressive teacher of his speech. He was the first political scientist to the secrets of colonial statecraft and brilliantly described the game of power and politics during his time. His driving force was his intense love for the motherland. His genius created a teacher. August 30, 1850, pinanganak si Marcelo Gatitan Hilario del Pilar sa Sitio Cupang, Barrio sa Nicolas, Bulacan, Bulacan. Siya ay nanggaling sa dalawang permanenteng pamilya sa Bulacan. Si Don Julian H. del Pilar, ang kanyang ama na naging tatlong beses na gobernador silyo ng Bulacan. Pagkatapos ay nagservisyo bilang clerk ng Bulacan Provincia. According to journalist Leon Maguero, wrote that the prefix got the Filipino surnames indicated double ancestry or being descended from Greek Latus. Delphilars controlled vast tracts of agricultural land. They cultivated rice and sugar cane and maintained the number of fish ponds. They also owned a mill and compared to results, Delphilars were significantly wealthier. Kaboom! It was said that their connection to government also appointed the work out for them against the priors. In February 1878, he married his cousin, Marciana H. Del Pilar, and had children and lived in Tondo. The Education of Marcelo H. Del Pilar Like Rizal, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, first teacher was his mother. Del Pilar also knows how to play violin and piano. Okay. He was sent to Manila to study under Mr. Flores. Then, he entered San Jose College and finished law in University of Santo Tomas in 1880. At the young age of Marcelo H. Del Pilar, was observant by nature. He found out early that people of his country were not being treated well by the friars and by authorities. Marcelo knew how to plant in the minds of the young students the seed of nationalism and stand up against the abuses of the colonial rulers. According to Mariano Ponce, that Marcelo frequently used to meet a group of students whom he was the animating spirit and true Sotondo. Marcelo H. Del 
popular more than David Serzat. According to Governor General Ramon Blanco, Marcelo H. Del Pilar was the most intelligent of the Filipino politicians, the true soul of the independence movement, very superior to Rizal. Lopez Haina was most potent in orating. Rizal spread in battle. Rizal spread in battle was writing novels. Del Pilar specialized in parodies. With his use of the Tagalog language instead of Spanish, his propaganda in the Philippines became a double-edged sword. A castigation of the friars which agitated them and a call to action among Filipinos. His works, The Salon at Tuxohan, which consists of the parodies of Sign of the Cross, The Confusion, The Lord's Prayer, and The Hail Mary, and The Catechism, which Rizal considers this as a model of classical prose and an excellent example of the Tagalog humor made in sarcasm. adopted the name Kalayaan from the article of Marcelo H. Del Pilar. According to the Coracle in Reyes, Del Pilar was much more a pragmatist and natural politician than Rizal, who is a Gaius. He was an organizer, builder, and plotter, and was at more at ease with the Tagalog language, vernacular issues, and the everyday lives of his abilities and sensibilities and equipped him to reach the gun in the illustrator, propagandist, and the common people. From the historical of the Korean society, of all the forerunners of the revolution, it is M. H. Dantula who inspired the Mabashu. Some historians even put forward the theory that Del Pilar was the mastermind of the Katipuna, making him more dangerous than the enemy of the state. For Renato Constantino, the ideas of M. H. Del Pilar exerted a strong influence on the revolution. Among the propagandists, it was Del Pilar who ultimately saw the futility in fighting for weapons and thus willing toward revolution. His style of works full of his understanding the masses and made his development possible. Carrero described him as a writer who had a sense of mass publicity, which was something that came difficult to answer. Which 
Guerrero described it as a ruthless, unscrupulous, popular, tremendously effective. Marcelo is the philanthropist. That we are persuaded that no sacrifices are too little to win the rights and liberty of a nation that is oppressed by slavery.